some funky ass music. Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3, baby. In the last one, we wrapped up chapter 3 to make it to chapter 4, and now we're playing as Lucasa, finally! And he's three years older than he was before. Because, whoa, time lapse, and check out Tazmilly Village now. I don't think it's a village anymore, friends. Looks more like a town to me. Anyway, we gotta finish exploring this bitch. I left you off here in the middle of the town square area. We did not go in here, but I was just gonna guess it's gonna become a big ass bakery, and it did. Oh, Lucas, welcome! Fuel's been helping out around the store lately. He's a real lifesaver. Oh, are you here to buy something? What can I get you? Um, I don't know. But the world has come to a money thing, and you know what? It's a thing. I don't. I probably need some of this stuff, but I'm not gonna buy any of it at the moment. Just because, out of principle, if we end up needing to, we will. Yo, fuel, what up? I loving. I love helping people out. Well, aren't you just the nicest, sweetest person in all the land? Potato like men are my type. Potato like men. Girl, when you grow up, call me. Anyway, happy box. Yeah, the happy boxes are TVs. How I missed it before, I don't know. I didn't go back and look at the old episodes, but I imagine that in the first few episodes you find out like when you when you hand out the happy boxes you you see that they are TVs. I just didn't even notice. I don't know how I didn't notice. <laughs> Our happy cooling box is just handy dandy. So I'm thinking of buying a happy massage chair next. Don't you think it's about time you at least put a happy box in your home already? No. Happy cooling box is a refrigerator. Okay. Happy. So basically, electronics make things make make things easier, thus for making you happy. Oh, Lucas, are you je so jealous of my happiness that you've come to see it for yourself? Yeah, super jealous, super jealous. I'm like the jelliest of jellies. You don't even know how jelly I can be. All right. Anyway, who's living here? Oh, Paul. That's right. Linda's over at the retirement home again, taking care of the senior citizens there. I wish she'd take care of me too. Oh man, is there really a senior citizen center where there's like cook, uh, like refrigerating old people? Oh man, I can't wait to see it. Wait, oh, I just realized he, this is his old happy box. This is his new happy box. Widescreen flat panel thing. Is it a type of happy box? Yeah, it's a fucking giant screen happy box, sir. All right, anyway, the music in this game. Getting super functified for real, though. Anyway, yo, map son, what up? If you need something from the map, loving and map owning maps, and it must be a map. Yes, I can talk about non-map stuff too. You know, old man West is definitely going to go bald. Yes, there's no doubt about it. Bald, definitely. Well, he had nothing map related to tell me today. Just that old man's getting bald. Who are you? Is there anyone here who puts money in this thing? Cause I just did anyway. Wait, what? Is, um, what is it? Um, I don't even know what it is. What is it? If you have any extra money, please put it in here. From your trustworthy and benevolent Mayor Pusher. There's a they have a mayor now, and it's and he's called Mayor Pusher. He drives a sparkling car. Who the fuck is Mayor Oh, that's right, there was a mayor here. That's right! I never mind. Sorry I question it. Oh Lucas! Your house certainly enjoys being struck by lightning, I must say. Do you still intend to live in it after all the wires and scorching and whatnot? I must admit it's a real downer on Tasmanly Village's image. Oh yes, yes, your maternal grandfather has moved into the new and shiny retirement home. Where is it? Across the way. That away. That's not helpful, but thanks anyways, douchebag. Oh god, what's his wife sound like? Oh hello, Lucas. Don't bother, don't bother Mr. Facade and the others too much now. Fuck Mr. Facade. I will fucking wreck him. Oh, and I love. I loved the hashtag last episode, hashtag eat facade. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, hello. Well, if you'll excuse me, hurry, hurry, haste, haste. Okay, and the happy box is just over there going away, but yeah. Man, I was very, very disappointed that the fucking Drago just didn't eat him. We, were, we know how much grief that would have just saved the town. Who knows what this town, what fate befalls this town now because facade's alive and well and fucking thriving in town alive and Lucas is just letting it happen. Did you forget what happened three years ago or what, man? <laughs> busy, so busy. All right, yeah, okay. Look at all these people you're serving. You're just running, you're running around in circles, sir. You're not doing anything, bro. Um, I'm trying to go in the door. Thank you. Going nuts. Big ass TV. Holy shit. 
Somebody has a big happy box. Somebody is super happy in there, if you know what I'm saying. I mean, what better way to watch all your happy time films? Like, I don't know, porn? Doesn't get much more happy time than that. All right, let's continue over here and see what has become of this side of town. Does the map, like, reflect anything that's happened here? Oh, not really. The map looks the same. Oh, the map has not even been updated. That's funny to me. Okay, the frog is there. We're not going to worry about saving it right now, though. Hey, there's a dog. Hey, dog. Bow wow. I keep getting hit by lightning. Did someone find out I peed on that happy box or something? <laughs> Actually, that might be true. If the happy boxes are all controlled by some bullshit that facade is in, in charge of, then I can definitely see it. Time really flies. It's almost been half a year since old Scamp passed away. I get the feeling it's rare for scamps like him to be so easily forgotten. So in that sense, he's a great scamp. We're we talking about a... Uh, oh, the old dude that was here in the bed. That's right. That's right. That's, uh, here's his parrot. I'm not stuffed. I'm alive. I'm plenty alive, Dag Nabbit. Yes, I know. We have met before. Also, this guy doesn't have a happy box. What? How come you don't have a happy box, sir? I was just going to say, this is where the ranch was before, and now it's a training facility. I remember last episode them saying that. Son of a bitch. This is our training facility. What do you think? Pretty impressive, huh? <coughs> he burped and belched. I ain't slacking off. I've just collapsed from sunstroke. Yeah, okay. The belch and the burp gave you away, though. Look at this fancy-ass house. Dude, what are you doing, Afro man? Seems to be captivated by the happy box. Well, sucks to be you then, sir. Not even going to look away. You know, if you sit too close, that'll rot your brain. I think I said that last episode, too. Oh, boy. Pig monsters are just marching around. Listen to that music. Hmm, how shall I put this? Saying things such as this may make me seem a tad rude and unsociable, and it's for what that very reason that I do not prefer to say it aloud. But if absolutely forced to say what I want to say, I would say, Get out of my damn way! Whoa, whoa. He said, damn. Oh, you guys want to join our army too? Then you got to go eat lots and lots until you're nice and big first. Like a big fat pig. What's your guys' problem? You like like you're trying to screw up our formation or something. By the way, I recognize that music. I'm fairly certain that music wasn't Earthbound, but you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I don't remember exactly where that music played, but I definitely recognize that music for sure. Alright, anyway, I guess we're done here for the moment. So that's a training facility now. Sad. Sad world we've we've come to live in now. But it is what it is. Alright, oh man, and this used to be Duster's house. Where, oh man, what what is this now? Oh, I get it. I get it. It's Wes's house, so it's the Senior Citizen Center now. <laughs> that's fucked up. Oh, and it's all run down and jacked up. This is fucked up. This is just like a real Senior Citizen Center. Fuck. Well, hello, Lucas. Oh, and Funky G, too. Your grandfather's upstairs in the room on the far left. Oh, that means Alec is here, too. That's right. I'm here visiting my grandma. We play games like pin the tail on the leak, hide and go sweep, and hokey pokey. That sounds like the worst games I've ever heard. I'm your grandchildren visit as a true cause for happiness. Okay. Fuck your TV is what you're saying. I haven't seen Flynn at all today. Lately. Not today, but lately. How is he? Um, still pissed. His son is gone. His wife is dead. Is he ignoring his other son and dog? I mean, come on. What do you expect? Anyway, who's this? Oh, Lucas. Did you come all the way here to see me? Sh no. Well, that just made you sad, didn't it? I'm sorry. Oh, okay. That's what I figured. Yeah. He gave a sad look. Dude, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I came here to see you. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I was feeling lonely since my grandkids never come to see me. But since you were nice enough to come see me, I'll give you a little spending money. It's not much, but here you go. Keep it in a secret from my grandkids, though. Oh man. I can't keep burning Lisa forever. But I do have a happy box and nice body girls like Nan and Linda keep her to keep me company. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy. Nice bodied girls. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Mike, but that's called sexual harassment these days. Wait, what? 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 That, this is a hard world we live in now. How disappointing. Okay. That was so <laughs> random, but awesome at the same time. I was like, what? I did not expect the game to acknowledge itself. That's awesome. Alright, here's here's Wes. Cuckoo. 
That's a fancy shirt you have. I know, it's all striped and stuff. Looks good on little kids, I know. Anyway, Wes, how's, how's it going with the rotten the brains and stuff? That phone got screwed up to the press press on top. What are you trying to do with this? I don't know. Apparently, you're not very important anymore because all you say is that. Sorry, Wes, you've come so far. Is this a grandpa frog? Rip it, rip it. Shave your game, shiny. Yeah, sure. I don't really need to, but I'll do it anyway since I talked to the frog. And it literally takes two seconds, so why not? Ribbit, ribbit. Uh, d don't worry one bit. I may be old, but I'm still as good as shaving as ever. Good as shaving as ever. Oh, this is going to be the saddest part, isn't it? Hey, Grandpa, how you doing? Oh, Lucas, how have you been? Lightning hit my mountain cabin a million times, making it impossible to live in anymore. I know it's hard to imagine the lightning was trying to hit my house specifically, but come on, one million times? I know, right? That's fucked up. <laughs> one million times? That's too many times. I, I can't even count that high. I would spend my entire life counting that high, and I refuse not to. I refuse not to. That's what I said. That's the words that came out of my mouth just now. By the way, is there still an item back here? Hell yeah, there is. Wes, you may be old and see now, but you didn't forget to keep filling the box up, bro. I like it. All right. Anyway, enough depression from old people syndrome. Oh my god, dude, that is depressing. What a depressing game this is becoming. I mean, it started depressing, but it's just getting more and more depressing. The world is becoming like the real world, and it's not cool. By the way, what happened to the TP? Is it still here? Ah, uh, his TP's fucked. This village sure has a lot of lightning lately. <laughs> I wonder where it's coming from. Probably Kefka's Tower. Pay attention now, let this be a lesson. Punishment falls upon the homes of all bad guys. Shut your mouth. Out of the way, out of the way. Ah, you're annoying. Shoo, it, shoo, get. What am I, a fucking bug? I got some bug spray for your ass. The lightning used to be Reggie's friend. But now this lightning is too, is bad to Reggie. All right, my uh, Jamaican accent not on point, but he didn't talk that much, so we're okay. Here, man. Take the thing to Reggie, man. All right. Anyway, wanted my generation. It appears to be an old concert poster put up by someone. But who? Old concert poster. So do we actually have a sheriff now? Oh, there's actually people in jail and everything. Oh, my God. Okay. Please don't stare directly at me. It might make me want to arrest you. Well, you're just a fucking douche then. This village used to have no policemen at all? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, it was weird, right? Like there was no crime or something. I got busted for larceny when all I did was pick up a doorknob I found on the ground. This isn't fair. Huh? Where's the doorknob now? Huh? How should I know? Maybe it was sent to the forensic lab or something. It was probably the doorknob to my house that got ripped off hella early on in the game. Looks like I've been arrested, but I actually came here and here on my own. I don't care what anyone says, I'm not coming out. Apparently he'd rather be in there than out here in the crazy, crazy world. Some moron by the name of Flint busted the lock on this door. So now I have to stand here like this and hold a shit. <laughs> that is hilarious. Three years later and they haven't fixed the lock on the door. That's fucking hilarious. Ah, I love it. That's awesome. Okay. Did I did I miss this treasure before, or was this not here before? Whoa, what? Reggae rhythm? Hey, man! Red stripe! Hooray, beer! I mean, I like it, but what's going on here? Ah. Ah. Uh, that was it. Just got a nice, soothing reggae beat, and that was it, huh? Alright. Well, you hear no complaints from me other than what the fuck? Look, has got a dolphin ossicle. What the fuck's a dolphin ossicle? even know what that is. A fossilized ossicle of a dolphin. An ossicle is an ear bone. Well, thank you for telling me, game, because I didn't have no clue. So we have a, a dolphin's ear. So there's something very, very creepy about that. And there's the other one. So we have both of the dolphin ears. There's something very weird about that, and I, I can't even begin to describe how weird that is to me. Anyway, no problems here. Notice, beware of snakes. Please refrain from practicing comedy routines in this area. Greetings, lumber people. What? Okay. Refrain from performing comedy in the area. All right, well, I'll keep that in mind for all the comedy I'm 
for that comedy routine I'm working on. All right, what's going on over here? Who do we got? What's going on? Hey, guy, how you doing? In the old days, we sent letters by pigeon, and now how? Look at how we do things. I, how do you do? I don't know how you do. Computers? Uh, mail man? Uh, you just walk over and give him the letter by hand. That woman over there. She keeps looking this way. I wonder if she likes me. I'm so nervous. Yeah, I doubt it. You're kind of a nerd, bro. Take the glasses off, you might have a chance, but last time I checked, bitches don't like nerds. No, I literally mean bitches don't like Girls are fine. Bitches, not so much. There's something across the sea. Do you ever wonder what's about such things? Please call me anytime. Huh? What? That was random. Something across the sea, call me anytime. Okay. Whatever. Oh, Lucas, do you still not have a happy box at home? Nope. Don't plan on getting one either. How taking your dog for a walk? You must really think you're someone special. Seriously, you don't even work. Even kids are working at the factory nowadays, you know. Bitch, you know that's child slave labor, right? They don't pay me money. They make me wa they let me watch TV. That's not a payment. That's not payments. Watching TV is not a payment. Even if it has cable and at home I don't have cable. That's not a payment. That. I'm about to write up some bills for this fucking world and be like, yo. Yo, you need to follow some rules around here. This shit is getting ridiculous. It would probably be best if you didn't talk to me. Got that? Uh, no. Are you really sure? Everyone hates me, you know. They all say I talk too much and never shut up. Are you sure you don't want to talk turn back now? No. Do you know what a trumpet is? I was actually thinking about learning how to play the trumpet, but I didn't. It's not that I was bad at it or anything. That's just how I felt it was de destined to be. Do you know what destiny is? Destiny. If you do, then that's cool. My destiny just didn't cross the destiny of the trumpets. That's all. But thanks to not by not taking up the trumpet, I can use the time I would have spent practicing on other things. That's one way of looking at it. It's not like I'm doing something wrong here. Yeah. I'll start something else and who knows, maybe that'll turn out well. Like, maybe I can start practicing the Yanapi? Do you even know what the Yanapi is? It's the proper term for a piano. What <laughs> What if I start practicing the Yanapi now and wind up being the greatest Yanapist ever? Yanapist? Is that really the r real term for it? I'm confused. Anyway, charming the hearts of men all over the world. If that happens, it'd mean I was right about everything, wouldn't it? My fate still hasn't kissed the Yanapis' fate at the crosswalk just yet, but nobody knows what the future holds. Not even more mole crickets, water striders, or horned owls. Hey, you, smile. Yes, you have a really cute smile, you know that? So anyway, basically... Okay. Jesus Christ. You should have turned back when you had the chance. All right. Hey, man, I wanted to see what she had to say. I mean, maybe it would have yielded something good, but apparently not. Nice scenery. How about some nice love? Please call me anytime. Whoa. Sounds a little inappropriate. Also, this lady is wearing the most scantily clad dress I ever done seen in that little sprite. Anyway. Amor. That's love. Okay, thank you. Love. That's amor. Oh, God. Don't even. Don't even. That couple on the other bench has been really lovey dovey, lovey dovey. Wait. Lovey, lovey dovey dovey for a while now. They just won't leave. I wonder what their deal is. Um, they want you to leave so they can fucking fuck. I mean, what else do you want them to do? They're waiting for you to leave. It's a romantic spot. Out on the cape. Just ready to fuck. And you just won't let them be. You're just there fucking trying to sp spectate. And they don't want that. Anyway, wait. When you say the girl laying over there, you don't mean this, right? When I just lie here like this, I can forget about all the bad things in life. I hope you mean there's a girl laying over here on the beach. Unless you're talking about... Also, there's just a pair of shoes. I I'm... So many things. This suit-shaped swimsuit's pretty sweet, huh? Wait, <laughs> that's your swim... That's funny. These appear to be a pig mask shoes. Okay. Alright. I'm not sure why his shoes are just chilling, but alright. Cool. That man over there he keeps looking this way. I wonder if he likes me. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, I see. We have one of these situations. Also, who the fuck's in the barrel? Oh, it's a frog. Duh. <laughs> Duh. Uh, we don't need to do any DP stuff right now. Let's just save it. No DP stuff necessary. All right, so we're already 20 minutes into this episode about, and I have done absolutely nothing productive other than explore the rest of the town. 
Although I did coax an old man out of, what, 50 dragon points? So there's always that. I mean, progress, am I right? Okay, so we've explored all of the regular parts of town. Now we just got to go north and see what fresh hell awaits us that way. Wait, did we? Yeah, we went in all the houses up here. Yeah, yeah, we definitely did. But we didn't talk to this guy. Let's see. Crossroads Station is to the north. Cerulean Beach to the west. And east of here is the nursing home for senior citizens. Oh, and to the south is your house, where the lightning keeps striking. All right, finally figured out this town's layout. Yeah, it wasn't that hard, was it? I mean, seriously, it didn't change. Not really, anyway. All right, to the north. We got a station up here or something. You're Lucas, right? I've heard rumors that you're a crybaby. You don't look like it to me, though. You're not crying right now, are you? I'm a police officer, yeah. I'm gonna go into Club Titaboo to check out a DCMC concert. I wish work would end already. I hope DCMC's a rap group. I so swear to God they better be. Or they better be a hard rock group like ACDC. That would make sense as DCMC, ACDC. Anyway, remember that really tall guy that used to hang around the crossroad? What was his name again? Beanstalk? Anyway, he was actually so tall that he didn't stand out or seem out of place at all. I haven't seen him lately, though. I wonder when we'll come across that guy again. Tasmili Central Message Board. Now let's read it. I say we remodel the old ruins of the Osohe Castle and turn it into a Tasmili Resort Facility. Anonymous. Read another? Sure. If you want to ride the train, go to the station. You can ride the train if you can ride the train if you go to the station. The train speeds along. Along speeds the train. Let's go, go, go to the factory on the train! Sure. Keep reading. Is the lightning helping us? Thanks to the lightning, all the dirty and old houses are being cleaned away. So in a way, the lightning is helping all of us. That's from what I, that's what I think from a popular citizen. His name's probably Facade. Happy boxes are the greatest. Now to develop even bigger screens. Abbott and Abby. Oh boy. I want to be a pig mass too. Or I want to be a pig mass too. How can I be one? I know I can be a good one. Please let me be a pig mask. Also, I thought tacos is good. Well, goodbye. Fried pork kid. Oh my, not, oh, uh, really? After a hard day's work, there's only one thing to do. Spend every last DP you own at Club Titaboo. Club Titaboo is a paradise of music and other stuff too. Come see the DCMC concert live, Club Titaboo. Sure, I'll keep reading these. I can read this shit all night. I have sand in my shoes and I don't know what to do. Somebody do something! Nana. No, no. <laughs> Why not consider working at the retirement home? Veterans of life are waiting for your kindness. But please stop quitting one after the other. <laughs> it sucks to work there. Who in the world is Letter? Try as hard as I might, I just can't remember anything about it. It's keeping me up at night. I don't... Who the hell was Leader? Letter? I don't even know what... what? We've been slowly running out of friends at the castle lately. People of Tasmili, please pass pass away at a faster pace if you would be so kind, thanks. Okay. Oh, okay. I see the ghosts. I get it. I get it. Read another? Sure. Let's keep reading. This is interesting to me. Notice? Scamp has died. That is all. Staff. Wow. Okay. Select. Cheerful police officers wanted. Start a new career as an officer of the Tasmili Police Force. Do well, and you could even make some pig mask friends. Pusher of the Tasmanian Police Department. Watch out for chimeras. Strange animals known as chimeras seem to be increasing in number lately. They are dangerous. Be careful them from a brave person. Okay. Show courtesy to Mr. Facade. There are many ignorant people who complain about him. I think that is a very bad thing to do. Tasmanian is nothing without Mr. Facade. Please take this to heart. Isak. Fuck you, Isaac. Titaboo News. DCMC to deba debut a new song soon? Desperado, Reckless, Crash, Powerful, Mambo, Sensational, Combo, Guys. No one can stop the DCMC's momentum now. Jesus, this is so many things. I say we remodel the old ruins of Osohe Castle and turn it into a Tasmanian Resort. Sip. Let's see. Ugh. Nasty burp. Sorry. Okay. I think we finally come full circle. Jesus. I, th I thought it was never going to end. That was actually awesome that there were so many things. This is a knit cat man's car. Okay. Okay. Hey, knit man cap guy. Hi there, I'm the friendly item deposit guy. If you have anything you don't need or don't want to carry around, I'll gladly hold on to it for you for free. I'll take great care of any items you give me, and I'll return them to you immediately whenever you want them back. Can I hold on to something for you? 
I don't trust this guy. I, I even I don't even I don't think I trust you. You don't look like a, guy, a nice guy to me. I'm always traveling to one place or another. So if you ever need anything, just let me know anytime. All right. Well, if this is the item storage guy, at least now I know. But if he's not really, I'll find out the hard way, I suppose. There's a blue mobile house over there. An interesting one that looks like it was made for, with whatever was handy at the time. Do you see it there? Do you see the guy next to it in the knit cap? Apparently, you hold on to items that are weighing you down. I think it'd be more convenient to leave your cumbersome items with him and to walk around with items everywhere you go. Plus, he does out of the goodness of his heart, so he doesn't charge any money. Well, that's pretty sweet. So if he does exactly as you say, then that's pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie. Red roll. All right. They want you to take the rose. They want you to take the rose. All right. So the north is the graveyard and the castle. Sprinting bomb. Okay. I hear there's a place along the tracks where magic butterflies flutter to and fro. Oh, is that right? Oh, so the train goes through here now. Hold it! Oh shit, Mr. T over here. I pity the fool! That's dangerous. What the heck are you thinking? I don't know what your story is, but you're still young. Don't store your life away. Okay? Alright then, now that you understand, go on and just forget about me. See you! Okay. Um, your life was saved. Alright. Cool. Thanks, guy. I didn't even know I needed saving. I've only heard the rumors, but are you the ones who stock up on food and then walk around without ever eating it? You really do need to eat, you know. You're still young. I, I, I tried not to be that guy, but you know what? Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I just do it out of instincts. Alright, so there's a train station here. I don't know if we can ride on the train at the moment. Oh, whoa, hold on. Oh, look. These guys. Come on now, Jackie. Get real. Can't possibly be him. But just think about it. No one's seen hiding her hair of Duster since he disappeared three years ago. It's gotta be him. Come on now, that's nonsense. Oh. Hey there, Lucas. Hey guys, how's it going? Hmm, well that's nothing. There's this concert hall named Club Titaboo past the factory. And the bass player there looks kinda like Duster. Jackie here is convinced he's Duster. But he looks just like him. I really think we should tell old man Wes. Maybe if we knew for sure. But we'd only wind up disappointing Wes if it turns out we're wrong. The guy we saw just happens to look a lot like Duster. We don't know any more than that. Period. Anyways, time to head home and have some chow while I watch the Happy Box. You took the words right out of my mouth, buddy. I'm starving too. Well, see you, Lucas. Tell Flynn I say hi. Alright, see ya. So Duster is apparently a, the bass player of DCMC. Interesting. Wonder how he got that gig. Or maybe it's not actually him, I don't know. I guess we can go see what's over here. Whatever happened to the... Oh, oh, I thought it was gone, never mind. Please throw all your empty cans into the trash bin. Okay. There's simply been far too much lightning lately. This lightning somehow doesn't seem natural. That's it, I can't imagine there being such a thing as artificial lightning. Well. Start imagining it, baby, because it happened. In order to read this sign, you had to trample on the flowers at your feet. Did you even realize that? Though the person who placed this sign here is really the one to blame. Oh, wait, that's me. Sorry about that. Please throw all your empty cans into the trash bin. <laughs> okay. This game has got me, man. Like, the humor is ridiculous, and I like it. I can see why Undertale was more was, uh, I mean, I played Earthbound, I know, but this has way more quirky humor. I'm glad the translators did the justice of making this funny. Oh, a kid from the village. You're so nice and unsophisticated. Oh, thank you, I guess. This appears to be some sort of special place. It was for me at some point. Um, how much more do I want to go here, man? I have been talking to everybody, and it's taken up the whole damn episode. Um... You know what? I was going to go through the forest, but you know what? I will I will save it for next time. Today's episode was just exploring the shit out of Tasmili. It took up the whole damn episode, but I'm okay with it. That was that was entertaining enough, I think. I read and talked to everybody, so that means I don't have to do that again. At least not right now. In the next episode, we'll uh, either go to the forest or we'll go back into town and see if some other event happens, because now I'm not entirely sure what we need to do. Oh, we could also go to the graveyard in Ohosahoy Castle, which we didn't do either. We got other ways to go, so we're not out of options yet. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Peace!